Hey GED students, um, I had a student working on writing equations of lines from points and she got stumped on number six from the advanced level practice. And it's no wonder because this one's a real challenge. So let's take a look. Um, example six or number six said, write the equation of the line that runs through the points one negative four and one five. At first, it seems very straightforward, just like what we've been doing. Uh, most of us know that when we've been given uh, points, we've been given points, that's what these are, and we need to write the equation of a line. Basically, there's two things we need in order to write the equation of a line. If you remember, um, in slope-intercept form, the equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus b, where m is a specific number that stands for slope. And B is a specific number that stands for the y-intercept. So this is what we're used to using, and we're used to just thought, go find M, go find B. Uh, but you are going to see that we have a problem right away with this. So let me show you what I mean. Um, the slope formula is on your GED formula sheet. It says to find M, the slope. You take the difference between the y's, the change in y, over uh, the difference between the x's, the change in x. So I'm going to go ahead and plug into this formula and see what happens. So y2 uh, would be the y value in my second point, so that's 5. And from that I'm going to minus uh, the y value in my first point, y1, so that's negative 4. So I get 5 minus negative 4, and that's going to be over. Well, the x value in my second point is x2. Uh, minus the x value in my first point is x1. And really quickly, you ought to be able to see where my issue is. Up here, of course, subtracting a negative becomes addition, uh, and 5 plus 4 is 9. But down here, there's the problem. 1 minus 1 is 0. And I hope you remember that we cannot divide by 0. Our answer is undefined. Meaning, our line has an undefined slope. Now hopefully you remember from the first day we talked about lines that when lines have an undefined slope it means they go up and down like this. They're vertical lines. And in fact if you were to take a graph and slap these points on a graph, let's see one, uh, let's see one, two, three, four, I might as well make my graph kind of accurate. Okay. So let's take a look if we put these two points on a graph. Uh, 1, negative 1, 2, 3, 4 is about here. And 1, 5 is about up here. And you'll see indeed we do get a vertical line that runs through um, where x is equal to 1. And in fact, if you think about this, basically uh, no matter where I'm at on this line, my x would always be 1. Like here, this is the point 1, 0. Or here, this is the point 1, 3. So um, one of the things that's hard for a lot of students to remember is that when you have a vertical line like this, so this is vertical, running straight up and down, that's a line where x is always equal to the same number. It's an x is equal to a number line. So what is our x equal to? Our x is equal to 1. We don't need the slope-intercept form. We couldn't even use it if we wanted to. We can't find the slope. I mean, the slope's undefined. It doesn't do anything for us mathematically. We don't have a y-intercept. This line is not crossing. And so you have to know by definition that vertical lines, lines whose slopes are undefined, are always in the form x is equal to a number. And you just have to know what number. In this case, all my x's are 1. All right. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.